Hey, what is up guys? It's Stan here back with another video. So it looks like Canon has finally revealed basically most of all the important specs for the new EOS R5 camera. So let's take a look at it and then let's talk about it. So first up, what we got here is the EOS R5 website from Canon. And we've already got a few specs. We already know that it does 4K and 8K, 30 frames per second, 120 frames per second. But one of the most important things what we didn't get was the codex and the recording capabilities, um, which they looks like they finally talked about now. Um, you know, we see that it can do 12 frames per second mechanical shutter, 20 frames per second uh, silent shutter, or without the actual mechanical shutter. And then what we know it is it can do 8K RAW in uh, 4K120. So here it talks about the video and it says that it could do 8K uncropped and 4K uncropped, which is very important, very exciting. Uh, I did a full analysis of the specs a couple months ago in a video and I predicted all of this stuff and it looks like I was absolutely correct about it. But it looks like what we're gonna get is uh, 8K 30 frames per second, 4K 120, and 422-10-bit H265, and then uh, in Canon Log, and then we're gonna get autofocus in both 4K and 8K modes. So what this means is basically they're really not get it cutting the corners on this. What we're getting is basically everything we asked for. You know, in some of the other cameras in the EOS R, for example, you had 4K shooting because of the megapixel and whatnot. So you were shooting in the middle of the sensor. Uh, it looks like they've developed this, the EOS R5 from the ground up to be an 8K camera and uh, we don't have any of that crop nonsense and it's gonna be great. It also see, looks like we're gonna get uh, 8K raw, 30 frames per second. Uh, with uh, dual pixel autofocus and uh, HDR, H265 capabilities. So uh, there's that. And then if I go over to uh, Canon Rumors, they basically summarize all this up as well. So it says 8K RAW, 30 frames per second. Uh, it also says that we're going to get 8K recording, 30 frames, 422-10-bit, H.264 Canon log, and 422-10-bit HDR picture quality, H.265. Um, and then it also says that we're going to be getting 4K internal up to 120 frames per second, uh, 422-10-bit, and then all the same. And then uh, it's also going to be able to output 4K external up to 60 frames per second. We already know that it's gonna have the dual card slots that was reported previously. It's gonna have the CF Express and the a single SD card UHS-2, of course. Um, this is, I guess this is nice because uh, CF Express cards are kind of expensive at the moment. So you can pick up this camera, get an SD card in there and um, and shoot, start shooting. And maybe, maybe you'll still need the CF Express card to be able to shoot 8K RAW depending on the bit rates, but uh, it's certainly nice to be able to get started with just an SD card with this camera. And lastly, of course, you're gonna have the whole in-body stabilization uh, built in, not just in the lens, but in the body, so that's gonna be great. So basically, what does this mean? Well, basically, Canon took all of our, all of the things that we wanted on the wish list, stuck them into a camera, and said, no, we're not cutting any corners, we're gonna give them exactly what they want. So basically this thing is just a Christmas gift of all of our wish list items wrapped together in an EOS R body. Uh, it is very exciting and this thing is going to be a beast of a still shooter. It's going to be a beast of a video shooter. Um, I think this camera is going to be the YouTuber's dream video camera for 2020 and, and beyond honestly because it's going to be able to do 4K and 8K. Uh, I you know, understand 8K is a little bit overkill for YouTube. But at the same time, you, know, you shoot in 8K, you could downscale it, oversample it down to 4K and output that and still retain all the quality, be able to punch in, zoom, whatever. I have a lot of just pixels to play with. Uh, there's still value in 8K, even for YouTube. 
And of course, this camera is going to be very future proof. Uh, it's got H.265. You know, honestly, right now, there's not a lot of hardware encoders that do H.265 well. But give another 6, 12 months, we're going to start getting CPUs that are going to be able to hardware encode H.265. The next gen Intel CPUs are going to be able to do that. So you're going to be seeing encoding speeds of H.265 speed up quite a bit. Uh, just like, you know, Intel's current quick sync for H.264. You know, honestly, right now, this EOS R5 looks to be better than the unannounced EOS Z300 Mark III uh, that we're going to be getting in a couple of weeks, or the announcement in a couple of weeks, because that cinema camera is probably going to be twice the price, but it's still only going to be a Super 35 4K camera, while this is a full frame 5, or sorry, 8K camera with H.265 and raw capabilities with Canon log and 10 bit. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? Like the only question now is how expensive is the EOS R5 going to be? Because uh, given that it's got these crazy capabilities um, and, and it's going to be better than a C300 or actually, let me take a step back. The C300 is unique in that it's a cinema camera. It has other features, the ND filters, whatever, but the picture quality and the codec and the processing and the video uh, of the R5 is, is you know, it, it's, it is a league of its own. I guess what I'm trying to say is this camera may be either very, very good value or the price is going to be more than what we expect because, uh, what is it, the 5D Mark IV was around $3,500, the EOS R was, you know, somewhere in, in that ballpark as well. Uh, and, and you know this EOS R5 is kind of trying to hit that hit that kind of market. So what we've been saying is 3,500. At 3,500 dollars, honestly, that's a steal with those specs. So are we going to be seeing 4,000 dollars, 4,500 dollars? I think even if it comes out at 4,000 or 4,500, I think this camera is still going to be better than all the competition out there, and it warrants this price point not that i want to be paying all that much for that camera but still i i think um honestly canon can charge whatever they want for an 8k camera with, with all these specs with all these capabilities because sony uh fuji they don't have anything in the league of the r5 now the last thing to talk about is the release date so um we were originally talking about this camera coming out before the Olympics sometime mid-summer, especially with everything going on right now, Olympics being pushed back until next year. When is it going to be coming out? We don't know, but at least it's good that Canon seems to be pushing out this information and we're getting the slow drip of information out and every little bit of information is just completely on point, exactly what we've been hoping, wishing, wanting. So. Um, you know, we'll have to just wait to see what we finally get when we finally get this thing, but everything is pointing towards a very, very amazing little package. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for future videos on the R5. I'll see you in the next one.